डियर स्टूडेंट वेलकम टू नेक्स्ट लेक्चर ऑफ इकॉन 242 फोर टू एग्रीकल्चर ऑफ फाइनेंस एंड कोऑपरेशन इन लास्ट फ्यू लेक्चर वी हैव ऑलरेडी डिस्कस अबाउट दी थ्री आर्स फाइव सीज एंड सेवन प्रिंसिपल्स और सेवन पीज ऑफ क्रेडिट देन लोन प्रोसीजर इन टूडेज लेक्चर वी विल डिस्कस अबाउट दी रीपेमेंट प्लान ऑफ द लोन नाउ रीपेमेंट प्लान फॉर टर्म लोन which are characterized by partially liquidating nature and the loan repayment plan is not similar as that of short term loans means short term loans are self liquidating and term loans means medium term and long term loan they togetherly known as the term loans which are characterized by the partially liquidating nature so these loans are recovered through a given number of installment means this partially liquidating loans are recovered through the number of installments or in number of installments depending upon the nature of asset and the amount advance for the asset in a question means it depends on the amount of the asset or nature of the assets or amount of the loan so there are various repayment plans are listed here first straight end repayment plan straight end repayment plan or it is also called as single repayment plan or lump sum repayment plan first one is straight end repayment plan or single repayment plan or the lump sum repayment plan keep in mind question may be asked in a multiple choice questions or in a objective or in a fill in the blanks which plan is called as the lump sum repayment plan so your answer will be straight end repayment plan or the single repayment plan then second partial repayment plan third amortized repayment plan now these amortized repayment plan again classified into two parts okay or two types that is amortized decreasing repayment plan or b amortized even repayment plan amortized decreasing repayment plan and amortized even repayment plan then fourth one variable repayment plan fifth optional repayment plan and sixth reserve repayment plan so on this topic for long question the question may be asked for 8 marks because this course is for 2 plus 1 so enlist the repayment plan explain in detail the amortized repayment plans okay so you have to explain amortized decreasing repayment plan and amortized even repayment plan so now we will see one by one, one by one so first one is about the straight end single repayment plan or the lump sum repayment plan so in this repayment plan the entire loan amount is to be cleared up after the expiry of loan period stipulated means the amount loan the amount taken by the farmer or borrower is cleared out in a single installment or in a single payment okay more clearly in this method the principal component is repaid by the farmer at a time or at a single time in a lump sum when loan matures while the interest component is paid each year okay in repayment plan there are two components first component is principal component means actual amount borrowed by the farmer okay or actual amount or actual amount of loan taken by the farmer that is a principal component and another one is the rate of interest rate of interest or interest on the that particular amount per year that is interest component okay now second partial repayment plan or balloon repayment plan so keep in mind first repayment plan is 
plan is straight end repayment plan it is also known as the single repayment plan or lump sum repayment plan second partial repayment plan otherwise partial repayment plan is also known as the balloon repayment plan now in this plan the farmer is expected to settle the entire loan amount in quarterly half yearly or annual installments that is principal plus interest means in partial repayment plan the farmer can divide the entire loan amount in a two parts four parts or in a one part but as a principal plus interest means it is expected to repay entire loan amount in a quarterly half yearly or annual installment so it implies that repayment of loan will be done partially over the years usually the installment amount will be decreasing as the year passes by except the maturity year or maturity year means final year during which investment generates sufficient revenue for liquidation so this partial repayment plan also known as the balloon repayment plan as the large final payment is made at the end of the loan period following a series of smaller partial payments means balloon like structure at the starting it is small in small installments you can repay means half yearly quarterly and at the last that big amount you have to repay that's why partial repayment plan is also known as the balloon repayment plan okay now next amortized repayment plan this is most important part of this lecture is amortized repayment plan so it is an extended version of partial repayment plan so it is similar to the partial repayment plan but it is a extended version of partial repayment plan means there are some improvements in this amortized repayment plan amortization means the repayment of entire loan amount in a series of installments what is amortization amortization means the repayment of entire loan amount in a series of installments means dividing the loan amount or whole loan amount in the series of installments that is the amortization here we have the two types of amortization plans these are the amortized decreasing plan and amortized even plan amortized even repayment plan so these are the two parts of amortized repayment plan we will see one by one so first one is amortized decreasing repayment plan so what happens in this uh, amortized decreasing repayment plan in this repayment plan the principal component here we can see in the figure also here in a green color indicates the principal component in amortized decreasing plan the principal component remains constant over the entire repayment period means over a year while the interest amount while the interest part decreases continuously over a year here in the figure in the diagrammatic representation you can see in the first year interest is high as the year goes on from first to sixth year interest amount is decreasing continuously but the principal amount remains constant with the principal amount remains remaining fixed and interest amount decreasing the annual installment amount decreases over the year so it is totally opposite to balloon plan in balloon plan what happens or partial partial uh, repayment plan what happens the installments are increasing at the end they are the bigger but here in amortized de decreasing repayment plan the principal component plus interest means total installment they are decreasing as the over the years the advance made for the purchase of machinery 
is one of the suitable example under this category means loan taken for the machineries farm machineries is the su best suitable example for amortized decreasing repayment plan because for machinery does not demand much repairs in the initial years or in the beginning years of loan repayment enabling or it enables or it facilitate or helps the farmer to repay the large amount of loan in a first installment or in a starting years okay so the diagrammatic representation of amortized decreasing repayment plan here we can see the green part indicates the principal amount that is continuously same or constant over a year but interest amount goes on decreasing from first year to sixth year because interest amount is goes on decreasing the whole installment or whole yearly installment also goes on decreasing from first year to sixth year so this is about the amortized decreasing repayment plan now next is amortize even repayment plan so this is called equated annual installment method so amortize even repayment plan also known as the equated annual installment method here we can see the principal amount the or principal component goes on increasing it is totally opposite to the decreasing repayment plan amortize decreasing repayment plan and interest amount goes on decreasing okay increase and interest amount goes on decreasing the annual installment over the entire loan period remains same in this method here we can see the annual installment of first year is same second year is same third is same fourth is same up to the sixth the annual installment is same over a period of time first year to sixth year here the principal portion or principal component of the loan installment increases continuously while the interest part declines gradually while the interest part declines gradually this method is mostly adopted for the term loans term loans means medium term loan and long term loans okay the loan granted for farm development digging of wells uh, digging of old wells then sorry deepening of old wells construction of godowns dairy poultry etc are the example of amortized even repayment plan so this is shown by this uh, figure here we can see principal amount is indicated by green color which is increasing over a period and interest amount indicated by the blue color which is decreasing over a period but in as a name indicated the installments of yearly installment remains same over a period okay so this is about the amortize even repayment plan now next the annual installment is arrived at through the formula means here we can calculate it by i where i is the annual installment in rupees b principal amount borrowed in rupees n loan period in years and i is the annual interest rate in fraction means i is equal to b i divided by small i divided by 1 minus in bracket 1 plus i raised to n n means loan period in years through this formula you can calculate the annual installments okay now next plan is variable repayment plan as the name indicates variable repayment plan various level of installments are paid by the borrower over a period of time over a repayment period okay in a times of good harvest a higher installment is to be paid while in a periods of low yields or low income lesser amount credited towards the installment of the lender means when the farmer receives higher yield or higher income he can pay the 
higher repayment amount and a, as a farmer receives low income or low yield he can pay or he can repay the low amount okay according to convenience according to the lender's convenience sorry according to borrower's convenience convenience the borrower effects the repayments this method is not found with the institutional borrowings means this is not possible in case of institutional borrowings or institutional financing agencies like banks cooperative societies etc so it happens in non institutional borrowing okay so next is optional repayment plan in this method provision is made for the borrower to make payment towards the principal amount in addition to the regular interest annually this is the optional repayment plan what happens in this plan in this method provision is made to borrower means one provision is made to borrower to make the payment towards the principal amount in addition means he can repay the additional principal amount to the regular interest annually now last reserve repayment plan or future payment so this type of repayment is made by the borrower in the areas which are subject to high income variability of farms means in the areas of high income this reserve payment, repayment plan or future payments are made means those farmers who are getting the high income after the harvest of crops they can do the reserve repayment plan the impending problem or the recent problem the problem here is that the farmers are hunted by the fear that they may not be able to keep their promise of repaying loan or installment toward the loans at scheduled time means the farmer they have fear in a future they will be they would be fail to repay the repayment installment so in that fear they make the reserve payment of that repayment amount so to overcome such situations the farmers make the advance repayment of the loan realized from the savings of the previous year or from the their higher income the farmer is not a loser in this transaction by any means since he is paying interest rate charge on the loans for the advance amount credited so this type of repayment is advantageous to the banker as the institutional agency need not worry regarding the repayment or regarding the loan recovery or loan collection during the period of crop failure okay the farmer to gain here he can keep his integrity in the credit transaction means these reserve repayment plans are beneficial for both for the lending agency or for the farmers also so this is about the all the repayment plans so for this topic or for this course you can refer the book agricultural finance and management by subha reddy p raguram and another book is agricultural economics by the subha reddy thank you